Our next author comes with an amazing story of her own transformation. Myrna Buckles, come on out here. It's so great to see you on the red carpet. Now your book, Wigs, Scarfs, and Lies, Why Your Hair is Thinning and How to Grow It Back. It is obviously for women who are going through hair loss, but I wanna start with your story. How did you become an expert on hair loss in women? I assume it is not your dermatology degree. <laughs> no, I don't have a dermatology Although degree. you do know how a d number one bestseller in the dermatology category. Exactly, so. <laughs> which is great. Um, the way I became an expert was experiencing hair loss myself. And going through that, and um, learning through that experience that it's not just scalp deep. You know, mm. we think hair loss is just on the scalp, but it's really in here. So I know you started off probably like most women who are losing their hair, either uh -huh. it's thinning or in patches. You went to your doctor and uh -huh. then the problem was immediately solved. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, the, um, the doctors gave me some, uh, medications to use and things and they just really didn't work and I tried using them and eventually I gave up on those medications and just tried to bury the problem mm. inside it just was deep with inside. wigs scarves and lies yes with wigs scarves, <laughs> extra and lies, lies. yeah <laughs> <laughs> and and it took like two to three years for me to pull that back out and work through it and um, the process of working through this book and writing this book helped me immensely to work through that myself. So obviously a part of this problem of thinning hair, uh -huh. particularly in women, it can be through medical reasons or aging or you know various things, medicines that you might be on, is um, it's an, an embarrassing problem. I think it's a problem that has a lot of shame attached to it. How do you uh, how do you deal with that in terms of getting your message out? Is it hard for women to kind of share this problem? You mentioned for you two to three years not mm -hmm. talking about it and hiding. It really is difficult to share the problem and to connect with the women that have it because they really they really have to trust you to connect with you because most women that have hair loss have only told their spouse or their significant other. And so if they tell me, then they're telling someone else. This is what I think is so powerful. This book is available right now for free as an ebook, even if you don't wanna tell anyone. Mm -hmm. It can hide right on your phone or your computer. It doesn't matter if you have a Kindle or not, you can get this book and read it. And I think what you will find is you may not want to broadcast it um, and you might you know be deleting pictures still that are shot from behind or pictures you don't love of your hair but there are solutions and there are people to contact and i think with a book with a message like this mm -hmm. any message that includes shame it's not just this one a book is such an amazing way to reach people because if we had like a big party for people with hair loss you know much harder to get people there cl claiming that problem so right. this is a nice um, quiet, confidential way to get your message. So if you have mm -hmm. a message that's, that people might be sh shy about sharing or ashamed, not that you should be ashamed if you have hair loss, but people feel that way, mm -hmm. um, you may have a question about that. You can type it into the chat. Happy to, um, happy to take your questions on that because I do think a book is a powerful tool in, in situations like this. So I'm gonna ask you a question here from one of our amazing members of our audience. Thank you all for asking questions and you can keep them coming. I'm gonna ask you an easy one, maybe. It's from Ada in Decatur, Georgia. She wants to know, how do you, how do you start writing a book? How did you start writing this book? Well, the first thing is to sit down and work through what, who your ideal reader is, who you're writing that love story to. And um, it's a bit of a process. The was best... it super easy for you? No, it was not super easy. You know it was. <laughs> the... I remember we had a couple sweaty phone calls yeah. there. You were like, but what? <laughs> yes. And the, the really cool thing is that Angela has a process and she works with you through that to get to that ideal reader. So you had a couple other book ideas, right? Oh, yes. 
multiple ones. And what do you think when people say, how do I start? There's a couple other people here. Um, mm -hmm. Odelia says, how do you decide what message do you do you put in your book? Um, there's a couple other people who have been asking questions who are saying, how do you pick your topic? How do you pick your idea? What's your two cents on that? Like, how do you know what to include? Obviously, you had lots of ideas you brought to the table, mm -hmm. and I hammered pretty hard what I thought your message should be. But how did you know it was right for you? It's, I was so passionate about it. I had worked with a client who had come to me, and her, her thing was, if you can't help me, I'm going to go have hair sewn into my scalp. And that was heartbreaking for me. And so a story like that and to see results for that person was huge for me. And I also have a huge heart to help people. And I was just really passionate about this and especially women, women in pain. Yeah. You know, I don't, I don't like to see anyone in pain, especially women in pain. Yeah, it's such a powerful message and such a beautiful cover too. So Wigs, Scarves, and Lies by Marina J. Buckles. You can get this book on Amazon and it could change your life. Marina, congratulations and thank you thank so you. much for being on the red carpet.